Yo, yo, YouTube, what's cracking like a jack of smacking? It's Wolfman for video. We got some NBA 2K14 part gameplay right here. And today, I'm going to be asking you guys a question on what you think a bandwagon is. Now, clearly, we're talking about sports, but we could use some real life examples as well. And the reason I'm making this video is because, you know, I went recently I went to a Super Bowl party at my friend's house and you know you saw you guys saw my video where I said I was rooting for the Broncos to win well I, I'm not sure if I said I was rooting for the Broncos but you know you probably guessed that I was rooting for the Broncos because I thought that the Broncos were gonna win so during the game you know the Broncos are losing and I decided that you know the Seahawks were gonna win the game that's when I was like you know what I'm gonna root for the Seahawks now you may you, you may call that bandwagoning, but you know I just switched teams. I just switched to the winning team because clearly I'm not a Broncos or a Seahawks fan. I'm a Giants fan, like I've said before. You know I live in New York, so it doesn't really matter to me of which team wins the Super Bowl. To be honest, the only reason that I wanted the the Broncos to win was because you know Peyton Manning. I wanted Peyton Manning to have that you know fairy tale ending to his career, but you know it doesn't happen. It didn't happen, and it doesn't really matter. And another reason I wanted the Broncos to win was to shut Richard Sherman up because he was talking a lot. But you know what? Seahawks played a great game, played some great defense. Richard, Richard Sherman did a great job. And you know what? Credit. You give credit when dev credit's due. But that doesn't mean that I'm a bandwagon because, you know, the Super Bowl, you're either going to pick one team or the other team. And, you know, there were a lot of people at the at the Super Bowl party. There was like a, a good amount of people there. And... We started to call each other out because, you know, we had one friend that didn't even watch football and he said that he was a Seahawks fan. So, you know, all my other friends started to get on him and say that he was a bandwagon. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're a bandwagon. Because even if he hasn't watched a single game of football, he doesn't even, he didn't even know the quarterback of the Seahawks. And he just declared himself a Seahawks fan because they were winning the Super Bowl. But, you know... I'm not sure if that declares him as a bandwagon, but he just doesn't know the sport of football. So that doesn't mean he's a bandwagon because they already run it and he hasn't watched a single game of the NFL. So he's basically, to me, he's basically irrelevant. Now my other friend who cheered for the Broncos at first, right? He also, you know, started to switch teams. And unlike me, who I, I, I didn't really get criticized for switching teams in the middle of the game, he got scrutinized so badly. I mean, he got shut down. Like people were just... They were roasting on him. They were toasting him. Oh my goodness. They were they were getting at him. They were attacking him because he was switching teams. And he was just saying, time out, time out. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not. I admit that, you know, I switched teams. But I'm not a bandwagon. But, you know, we kept having this conversation. And I said, and, and, and then it came back to me. Because you guys don't know this, but I, I, I own a lot of hats. And, you know, my friend actually has more hats than me. But I own a good amount of hats. And I have a Miami Heat fat. I have a Miami Heat hat. And I'm a Knicks fan. But I also have three Knicks hats. So I guess that, you know, that kind of cancels it out. But anyways, just because I have a Heat hat doesn't mean I'm, I'm a Heat fan. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, I have, I might have like, uh, let's see, I have, a, I have a Mets jersey. Maybe I have a Mets shirt. That doesn't mean I'm a Mets fan. No, I'm a Yankees fan still. I have a Yankee hat. But, you know, even if you have the hat, if you have the attire, if you have the gear, that doesn't mean you're a fan. That doesn't even, that doesn't even mean you hate the team or anything. Like, in the playoffs last season, NBA Finals, I was cheering for the Miami Heat. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I was cheering for the Heat. But also, another reason I'm cheering for the Heat is because I hate the Spurs. I just don't like the Spurs. And two years ago when I was cheering, I was cheering for the Thunder because I hated the Heat. So, you know, when it comes to the finals and stuff like that, I don't think there's really anything that you could do with people, you know, choosing a team and, you know, cheering for them. Because it's the playoffs. If your team is out, then you move on. I mean, you're not going to just stop watching the game, are you? Are you going to stop watching the playoffs because your team is out? Yeah, some people do that. But what if you just want to watch the game just watching the game? Maybe you love the game of the NBA. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch the finals? Because we're all NBA fans, right? We're all fans of the game. But we all have these teams that we love and we, we cheer for, we root for, no matter what. You see, you're a real fan if you cheer for your team 
when they're winning or losing. When you have a bad team, a bad roster, and you're still cheering for them, you're still watching their games, you're still, you know, you're hoping that you'll get a good draft pick or you'll get a good player, that's when you become a fan. That's when you realize that you love the team so much and, you know, you get that feeling that when you watch your team play, when you watch your favorite team play, you don't get that same feeling with the other teams. Because when I watch the Knicks play, it's a different feeling than when I watch, let's say, I watch the Heat play. Because when I watch the Heat play, I, I can't watch the whole game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I watch an NBA game, then I'm not going to, like, if I watch, like, a game on TNT or NBA Game Time or, or, or even ESPN, if it's if the Knicks are not playing, then I'm, I'm, probably, not, I'm probably not going to watch the whole game. Because I don't have that appeal to that team. I don't have the attraction that I usually have with the New York Knicks. And you know what, too? You know, I'm, people may call me a bandwagon sometimes. But in reality, if you have, if you listen to what I have to say, I'm clearly not a bandwagon. Let's say, you know, I used to have a Kevin Durant hat as well. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Thunder fan. I'm not going to lie. I did say I was a Thunder fan before, but that was because... You know, that was during the finals two years ago when they were facing the Heat. And I was like, you know what? You know, I want the Thunder to win. And they're going to be a, a great team in the future. So, why right, not? But, you know, now i am decided that I'm firm that I'm only going to be a Knicks fan from now on. And we all decided that we're all good, just going to start all over. Because, you know, that, that, that bandwagon conversation was just going too far. Now, the definition of a bandwagon is joining, you know a trend joining a popularity something that's popular and in sports that's that, that's usually the team that's winning the most but then again isn't there a misconception because why can't people bandwagon a losing team i mean and then the definition doesn't even state that the team has to be winning right so let's say the suns the suns are a great team this season they're doing pretty good right now with that roster you know, Jeff Hornacek's doing a great job with that roster, right? Why can't people ban racking that team? You guys want to know the reason? It's because they're not popular. So the reason that people are bandwagoning teams is because of their popularity. The Suns are not a popular team. No offense to their Suns and no offense to their great team, their great coaching staff, which is doing a great job this season. And I can say that because, you know, I'm being, I'm being real. I'm, being, I'm, I'm saying the truth. The Knicks are utterly horrible. I mean, we lost to the Bucks last night. Felton, his his fat twinkie ass got destroyed by by Brandon Knight. I mean, he was getting lit up on the court. He allowed a, a, a game-winning three. Are you kidding me, Felton? I mean, that's what you could say if you're being true. If you're not bandwagoning, you know, you could say Melo put had a good effort yesterday. You know, 17 points in the fourth quarter, but that's not enough, man. And the team's not doing enough as a unit, man. And that's, you know, I can say that because I'm a Knicks fan and I'm just being real. You know, some fake fans would be like, ah, you know, you know, they, they did all right. Nah, nah, if you're, if you're, if you're a hardcore fan, you don't want to see them going out. We have a great roster and we're going to lose these games to the Bucks, the worst team in the NBA. Nah, man, nah, not like that. But anyways, tell me what your definition of, of a bandwagon is because I think that you could bandwagon losing teams, you know, because, you know, losing teams could still be popular. And I think that even if you have the gear or the attire that the team has, doesn't mean doesn't make you a bandwagon for you know the team. Everyone can have their own team, you know, but that doesn't mean you're a bandwagon just because you might like another team or you might have their their, their team's attire or that or you know the team's shirt or the team's hat. That doesn't make you a bandwagon. And also, there's a difference between cheering for a player on a team and cheering for the team like my favorite shooting guard is Dwayne Wade you know Dwayne Wade is one of my favorite players I I, I always love Dwayne Wade you know so I want to see Dwayne Wade do well if Carmelo Anthony leaves the Knicks you know Carmelo Anthony is my favorite player so if Carmelo Anthony leaves the Knicks and he goes to the Lakers I'm not gonna be happy about that but you know I want Carmelo to, to still have success you know what I'm saying and you know I still want the Knicks to do better than the Lakers but, you know, I can still cheer for Carmelo. If he's going to get a ring on, in the Lakers, then let him get a ring. But anyways, YouTube, I'm about to be out. And tell me what your opinion on what a bandwagon is. And peace.